Welcome to the Lead Every Day Show. Our mission is to see a world well-led. And our strategy to get there? To empower leaders like you to lead every day. So let's get to work. How do you know if you're winning as a leader? I think the answer is if you're helping others win. Welcome to the Lead Every Day Show. I'm Randy Gravitt. And I'm Mark Miller. And we're so glad that you've joined us today. We've been talking about becoming a better leader the last few days. It's, it's part of our operating system, and I'm, I'm excited to unpack this. Today, I, I want us to build on this idea of, of are we helping other people win? One of the things I actually ask myself when I lie down at night is, did I help anybody win today? And I think if I did, that actually makes you a winner. If you, if you didn't help anybody win, you go through the whole day, you didn't help anybody win. I'm not sure that you really won. So it's it's an important idea we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna jump in here uh it's got me thinking about offensive linemen so yesterday we talked about blocking and tackling in the football game uh if you missed that episode go you get a little snippet there but um when i when i think about football all you hear about i mean i don't know if you ever watch any i know you watch some games and and it, but if you ever look at any any commentary that's going on all you hear about are coaches and quarterbacks and receivers and i mean the people who score you hear a lot about them but if you talk to a really good coach they'll tell you the team that blocks and tackles, the, the team that controls the line of scrimmage, they're the ones who really win. And I think this picture of an offensive lineman is such a great picture of what I would call servant leadership. I mean, I think servant leaders are the best leaders. People, when you say that, they get kind of freaked out. They don't like – it's like, I'm, am I a doormat or am I – you know. I think the best leaders – you talked about serve yesterday, those five fundamentals of leadership. I thought that was really great. This idea of being a a offensive lineman in your mindset. I mean, think about those guys. They they wake up in the morning and they they just have a different mindset. They're not looking to get their name in the paper. They will go to the facility and they tape up and they they open up holes so other people can score. That is such a great picture of of a leader. And and when we've been talking about this, become a better leader, and specifically this idea of helping others win. Or yesterday, the way you said it was engaging and develop others. That's very strategic. It's kind of high level. Let's get in the weeds here, the offensive lineman mindset. Yeah, the tactical. And the tactics, the tactics. Today. Uh, As you think about the tactics of it, I mean, you've, you've seen leaders before who get one but don't have the other. Sure, sure. And I think, I think a lot of the folks listening to this have probably experienced a leader that might cast a great vision, but they couldn't, they couldn't operationalize it. Yeah. Or the, the flip side, you may have worked with a leader who's really good at uh, giving feedback or delegation, but they had a no clue about strategy or strategic intent. You know, we really want leaders who can serve strategically and tactically. And we came into uh, full awareness of this a few years back when we were trying to help some of the Chick-fil-A restaurants with execution. And what we discovered is there was a tactical gap. And you did some really good work to help us identify what are some of those things that we need to do every day, yeah. really, in one form or another, to help people win. And it, it remind us, you talked to hundreds of frontline yeah, about leaders. Yeah, 700 of them. Yeah. And, and, and what, tell us some of what you yeah, learned. That, well, there, there were all kinds of things. And we, we asked them, like, what do you want us to talk about? What do you want us to teach you? you know, and there were, there were things like solving problems under pressure. You imagine in a, in a restaurant, they're, I mean, these restaurants are doing a couple hundred cars an hour going through a drive through yeah. and, and they're trying to solve these problems and I mean, people don't take a break and say, well, we won't come to the restaurant for a couple hours and let y'all solve your problem. You got to do this under, yeah. under stress. And, 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 and let me say this, a lot of folks listening, they're trying to solve problems well, that's under what stress say. too. They, and they've never been to a they, Chick-fil-A they got, behind got, the counter. They've got high pressure situations going on. It might be a sports team. I mean, imagine that they got a play coming every 40 seconds. It's, it's amazing if it's a football team and a basketball game seems to never stop. And so they're, you know, there's, there's, there's constant stress there and you may be in healthcare and, you know, we we work with teams that have stuff going on in an emergency room. I mean, you imagine the the level of pressure and stress, and you got to get life and death on the line in some of those situations. So it, yeah, it's it's everywhere. So that was one of the things they wanted us to talk about. Uh, another one was how do you how do you connect and care for your your team? I mean, it's think about think about so many people get promoted into a position, and they've not been really um, they they've not seen it modeled. Maybe I mean we, what. Where do you ever go to school and learn how to connect and care for people? I, and yet that's what you end up doing all the time as a leader. And so another one of those things that was really important, the, the idea of, of feedback was important. It was, we, we learned that we, we need to give feedback to people and help them. But, but there's a difference in, um, 
and, and just giving feedback and being a person who, who says feedback is going to be a gift to our team and I'm going to seek feedback as well. It, it, and, and I would say there, you know, so many times I've, I've heard people say, I'll receive feedback. There's, it's a different level when you say, I'm going to receive feedback. Like, if you want to give me feedback, yeah, I'll take that. But if I come to you and I seek it. Seek it. Yeah, it's, it's huge. So all these little things that we started learning, the, the power of listening and communicating, all that stuff. So as you, if you're listening and you're thinking about your frontline leaders or your mid-level managers, do they have some of these, these skills that they need to be able to do that? And if they don't, you know, I, I, and I think sometimes they don't because we just put them in a situation and we say, you, you know, if you need something, yeah. call, me, like, if you need call me. me if you need me. Call me if you need me. Call me if you need me. And that's not training. That's uh, no. not, you know, we're not teaching anybody how to do it. So, so we started on a, on a quest to try to teach people how to do some of those things and, and get real tactical with that. And I, th and I think if, if, if I would encourage anybody to, if I could encourage anybody to take a step here, it would just be start with one area that you need to make some progress and pick a thing you can do in that area and, and, and go on from there. Yeah. And I've got a word of encouragement for the senior leaders. Let's not assume because you've been in role a long time or, or you're old yeah. that you know how to listen, to give feedback, to yeah. solve, uh, you know, problems under pressure. Clearly those are, uh, acute issues for new leaders because yeah. nobody's ever taught them. But I've met my fair share of senior leaders that could probably uh, brush up on some of those things as well. Yeah. So I, let, let me, let me kind of give us one practical thing today. If I was thinking about, you know, an idea here. So my, uh, my wife is a, uh, her dad was a farmer and he's the one who, who, and he, it's funny, he was not a, a corn farmer, but he's the one who got us addicted to popcorn so i don't know if you you like popcorn are you a popcorn guy so there there's i found there's a couple of different kinds of popcorn so back in the day you know you had the air popper and then then there's the the orville redenbacher you know you can throw it in the microwave but but our family has turned into a family where we have the big silver pot and there's oil in there and you, and you put the our father-in-law he would bring the corn kernels to us and we you know you, you i say the kernels that you they're putting in there and they begin to pop and you know movie night and all the girls it was a lot of fun here's what i noticed not all the kernels pop if you think about your organization right now who's popping on your team who is it who are those young leaders that they they show up early they stay late they got a great attitude some of that stuff that you've been describing the last few days they've got that i would encourage you to pick one leader today just one emerging we'll call them an emerging leader that you could invest in what's one specific thing you can do to help that leader today. I think that is a powerful way to just, now, now all these other areas, seeking feedback and all, I mean, you, you can, you can take all those, but just pick one thing today, one emerging leader, and maybe give them a challenge. Most of the time we, we have people that are, are not growing because we're not challenging them to grow. And actually we're, we're afraid sometimes they'll leave if we give them too much. The research shows just the opposite. They actually, they won't challenge. They want to grow. They want to help. If you think about engaging and developing, like you talked about yesterday, that's that's great in theory. But who's one leader that's popping right now that I can invest in in a very specific tactical way, and and watch what happens? You end up with a bunch of leaders around you, and you you always say every problem is a leadership problem. They're like if we have enough leaders, we can almost do anything. If we don't, we we can't. So let's get real tactical on this stuff. Uh, I, I think I think it's it's a powerful mindset here. This idea. So I would encourage you today as we land this episode identify three or four tactical ways that you can invest in the people around you. Maybe it's, maybe it's seeking feedback from the people around you. Maybe it's giving feedback. Maybe it's providing some accountability. Maybe it's teaching people how to pull back and, and, and from the pressure and be able to solve problems to go back into the pressure and be able to make things better. A lot of things would come to mind. Your environment's going to be different. You'll have to connect your own dots, but if you'll do that, I think you got a really great shot of helping other people win. Remember, if you lie down tonight and you didn't help anybody win today, I'm not sure you won. But if you will really show up with that offensive lineman mindset, help open up a hole so somebody else can score, I think you're going to be the biggest winner in the building. Your whole organization is going to begin to win. It's going to be incredible. We hope you'll join us tomorrow as we continue to, to pursue this idea of becoming a better leader. Remember, the best leaders lead every day.